Ready? Go. Wow, I was actually failing on this one. All right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to test out this bad boy. This thing is seriously so awesome. It is the Milwaukee one inch impact wrench. Now this thing is 1800 foot pounds of torque, 1625 RPM. And what's the other specs really quick? And it is 2450 impacts per minute. Now that is a huge based on the size of this anvil. That is huge. Uh, and so, yeah, this does support the one key app, which I downloaded the app and I get to track this tool now. And so I'm a huge fan of the, that app now. This is model number 2867-20. And this thing is a beast. Now, so I have a semi-truck repair shop down the street from me. And I decided to drive up to it, talk to anyone to see if I could test this tool out in there. So after talking to a guy named Andre, he actually uh, wanted to see what this tool can do. Him and I are friends now. I talked to him for a while. He's an awesome guy. And I thank you, Andre, so much for uh, letting me do that. And so, yeah, so uh, here's the test. And this thing is awesome. And so we are going to see if this tool can actually bust these nuts. Now we are using a 38 millimeter uh, deep uh, impact rated socket. I got these from uh, Harbor Freight. These are Pittsburgh Pros. So let's see what this can do. Ready? Go. And there's the nut. It did it no problem. No problem. Let's put this back and take it off another one. This thing is a beast. And uh, it's about the same thread count as the other ones. Actually, that probably went on a bit too tight because the thread count looks a little bit more. So let's reverse that a tad. Yep, that's about the same thread count. This thing is a beast. Let's see if we can do another one. Are we ready? Go. Time. It did it, rusty. Rusty lugs. Off. Yeah. This thing is a beast. All right, so as you can see, we have more rusty bolts here. All right, let's see if this 1800 foot pound can bust these nuts. Now let's see if these are the same. They are the same actually, 38 millimeter. Deep socket. Dude, I love this thing, man. Perfect. All right, so, ready, go. It's, it's going. Time. That is crazy. It, it took it out, completely rusted over. And this thing took it out with no issue whatsoever with one hand. That is absolutely insane. Let's put it back. Time. Let's do one more. Let's go up here. Go. time took it out look how rusted that is too this is a beast dude seriously this thing is a beast that thing's insane i gotta i gotta call you when i gotta do one of those axle knots and stuff where it's like the nut is this big yeah that like like people would have loved it if or, the, there yeah. was a nut like that, dude. Yeah. yeah, we can try that one as well. All right, we got one right here. It's in reverse. 
There we go. All right, so ready, go. Time. Right there. This thing is a beast. It is a beast. Like I said, these are completely rusted over. Let's put this back on really quick. Put, put it back on. Ready? Go. There we go. This thing is a, seriously a beast. Yeah, look how rusted that is. It took him out. It took him out. All right, let's, let's try over here. These are a little rusted over as well. Should be the same size, I think. Yes, they are. Which is why I guess uh, this uh, impact uh, socket kit came with 238s. Glad I got this one. Ready? Go. Wow, it's actually failing on this one. All right, let's continue. Wow. Hey. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, the nut is coming off, but if for some reason it's not coming off with the threads. Like, like the, the, uh, the, the, the actual, that's, that's solid. solid, but the nut just oh, won't come off. Yeah. Hey, it busted it. It busted. Let's do one more. All right, ready? Go. It's turning. Oh, it got stuck right there. And just in case, we're not going to continue that. Uh, I don't want to break it. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, but these ones are really rusted over. You can try to go forward in the back to reverse. Let's see. Yeah, these ones are a beast. Yeah, these ones aren't budging.
Yeah, which that's a, that's why they make another powerful one with 2,000 foot pounds. Oh, I gotta get up after that. Oh, what's the battery life? Battery life is at three bars, dude. So it still has. Yeah. As you guys can see, the battery life is at three bars still. It's absolutely insane. All right, so this is the tool itself. This is seriously a bad mamma jamba. Like I said, it's a one inch anvil. Th that anvil is seriously, that's huge. Now, if you compare it to a regular half inch anvil, what a difference, what a difference. And so, yeah, this thing is seriously very well designed. Uh, like I said, it has four speed settings. Doesn't give the specs on all four speeds, it just gives the specs on the highest speed, which once again, this is model number 2867-20. Uh, 1650 RPM, uh, 2450 impacts per minute, 1500 foot-pounds of fastening torque, and 1800 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. This thing is seriously amazing. This seriously is amazing, and it did a fantastic job, especially with those rusty bolts, as you guys saw. It, it seriously did a fantastic job, and it did it with not using that much battery. This battery still has three bars left. As you guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it has three bars left. And so 12 amp hour high demand battery is required if you plan on doing a lot of nut busting. And so, yeah, so I support, I love the one key feature on this tool. The one key feature is good, but I will be doing a video on that in the future. And I'll also, like I said, and like I said, I'll also be doing a video of the high demand versus uh, high output. Let's see which one actually uh, does the trick. So that's pretty much it, you guys. If you're a semi-truck uh, repair shop and you need a good high-performance tool, this is one of two that I, I highly recommend. They do make another version that's 2,000 foot-pounds, but it looks more of your traditional uh, air impact wrench because compared to this where it's one-handed and so yeah but i love this design the design of this is seriously awesome so i seriously thank you andre for uh taking me into your shop and letting me use this tool and bust some nuts so this thing is seriously awesome so that's pretty much it, you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. And one, one last thing, make sure you check out VCG Construction. His tool tests and tool reviews are freaking amazing and they're very informative. And so check out VCG Construction. Link for his channel is in the description below.